Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are first viewers um, and would like to join the family, go ahead and subscribe right now and hit that ring button notification because um, even though you guys are subscribed, sometimes YouTube doesn't let you know once I upload videos and that way when you hit that ring button notification button, um, it will notify you once I upload it and that way you guys won't miss any of my future videos because I have a lot of things coming up. Um, but for today's video, I have a very, very exciting video, um, video because I just received my Urban Decay Beach Eyeshadow Palette um, from Urban Decay, of course. Um, this is the newest palette that Urban Decay came up with recently. So if you guys want to purchase it, it's already at Ulta. But if you guys want to see the review first, then keep on watching. As you guys can see, I have my eyebrows done. And for the eyeshadows to get started, um, I finally received my um, Urban Decay eyeshadow um, palette. These are the colors, and as you guys can see, they are most of them are shimmer colors, and only this one and these two are matte colors, matte shades. So I'm gonna be using its own eyeshadow primer to see how it works. Now let's go ahead and play with these babies out. Um, so for my base, I'm gonna be using Blaze, which is this one right here, this one right here for my base. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this over my entire crease. And I'm gonna be using the mirror, just so you guys can be able to see. The next color I want to take in, I'll take Daybreak, um, and it's this one right here. So I'm gonna be taking Day, I'm gonna be taking in Daybreak, which is this one, and it's the um, matte um, colors, and. I'm going to go ahead and apply this in my crease. Um, I do not have bad things to say about this palette or so far because it blended out so smooth and made it really easy to blend. It It is pigmented, um, but that doesn't mean that, you know, some other palettes that are really pigmented, they are really, really hard to blend. Well, this one is pigmented, but good to blend, easy to blend, and... I like how the colors are matching, how they're looking so far. So yeah, I'm really liking this palette. Even though it doesn't really have a lot of colors, but you could totally make like a lot of looks with this. Like there's so many um, looks you can make just with these colors, even though there's probably like three mattes, but you could, you know, being creative, you could come up with any type of colors. So now I am going to go in darker and darker and I think I'm going to be using blue for my um, lid. So I will be taking in, I'm going to be taking in wedge which is this last color right here from top to bottom. And I'm going to be applying that in my crease as well. Now, um, it's really it's looking pretty good. I like it. I don't know what you guys think. I'm going to be using Plunge for my next color. 
and I'm gonna be using these two for my lids let's see how this comes out because to be honest I have I have no idea So now I'm going to be using my Born This Way concealer and I'm going to take a brush and that way I could, you know, form my crease for my lid and apply that blue really nicely. I am gonna grab another flat brush but this one's different this one it's the naked two brush from the naked two palette and I am gonna be grabbing the color double dip which is the second lightest blue which is this one and I'm gonna apply on my uh, entire lid like that oh my god this is a really pretty color This is really nice. This is so pretty, guys. Oh my god. Um, I did not have any fallouts on the shimmer shades whatsoever. Um, they are really pigmented. And not just that, they are really beautiful. Once you apply it on your eyelids, because when you swatch on your hands, it's different. Um, when, rather when you use it on your face. Both you know both swatches are really good are really nice I swatched it in my arms uh, before and it was really pretty that's why I bought it but now that I have it on my face it's really nice uh, really pigmented really shimmery which if you guys have been following me you guys know I'm a shimmer person like glitter, glittery and all that stuff um, I do use matte shades and everything but I like to work with shimmery colors most of the time um but yeah so now i'm gonna be doing my eyeliner and you guys already know it's either tart or stella and this time i'm gonna be using my tart to do my wing line my liners done the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying my mascara and I'm going to be using the better than sex from Too Faced mascara which is this one I'm going to be using the better than sex Too Faced uh, mascara from Too Faced um, I really don't see a lot of difference with this mascara and I don't even know what it's supposed to do but a lot of people like it. I mean, the first time I tried it, it wasn't like a hit. It was more like a miss. But I've been working with this one ever since I bought it. Um, you know, because I bought it and I'm like, well, I just I have to use it because that's just going to be money thrown away. But now I am um, I like it like I really like it. It's not like one of my favorites, but you know, I like it. So what do you guys think so far of the look? 
let me know down below in the comments uh, comment down below what you guys think so far um, but me personally I like it I like how the colors are matching I like how it looks on me like I don't know I just like it so so for my eyelashes I'm gonna be using the new um, the new kiss lashes in there and the style put um, triple push-up and this is what it looks like and it says it has three designs in one strip so I have my lashes on but to be honest with you guys uh, they feel like super thick like super super thick I don't know if because I'm not used to you know this type of lashes but they feel super thick so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation you know and do my face and I'll be back I'm gonna be using my vintage brush and I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna be filling in my inner inner corner of my eye with the shade salt this one right here um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on my inner corner and for my bottom line I am going to go in with the shade um, plunge which is this one right here I'm gonna be using this one to do my bottom line I'm really liking this look I really like how it's coming well how it came out cuz I am done um, the last thing I need to do is my lips but so far I like it it's you know it's really pretty so for my lips since I have too much going on in my eyes I'll probably go for a nude um, or more like a you know I'm gonna be using like a brownish color and I'm gonna be using this one. It's from L'Oreal, and it's in the shade. He thinks he's he thinks he's Matt Co. The so this is the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did. Um, so far, um, I like the palette. I have no bad reviews on this. Um, the colors are super pigmented and really pretty, really, really pretty. Um, you know, like, I like shimmery colors, so maybe that's why. But, you know, if you're a shimmer person or likes to work with shimmer colors, this palette would be great for you. Um, the colors are really nice. Only thing about this palette, there's only three matte shades. Um, but, you know, if you get creative, you could work with it. I use shimmer colors as my transition and in my crease as well so that didn't go bad at all I really like the final results um, the palette itself is just really really pretty um, I would highly recommend this if you guys are looking forward to buying this it's already at Ulta um, and this is the newest palette um, Urban Decay has come up with so yeah this palette I give it a big thumbs up really nice um, now the new blush that I bought uh, I didn't like it like I don't even know if I'll be using this one one it didn't give me any color on whatsoever it didn't give me any blush the only thing I was able to get out of this product was the shimmers um, shimmery thing so yeah like I wasn't able to get any of the blush out um, on my cheeks besides the shimmery stuff um, so that for me it's a thumbs down unless I try other shades I know there's plenty of shades out there not a lot but I know there's a few others um, but when I went to Walmart because I got it at Walmart they didn't have a lot it was only this one and another lightest one so I was like I think I'll just go for this one since this is the um, darkest ones they have right now. This is the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, give me a th big thumbs up. Um, let me know down below if you guys want me to, you know, use m more of this palette. Um, have more use out of this. 
um, any colors you guys would want me to use, you know. Um, there's plenty of shades, you know, not as many, but we could totally come up with different looks, you know. So let me know down in the comments down below if you guys want me to be using this um, palette in my future videos more often. Um, so other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If you guys haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now down below and hit that rainbow notification button that way you guys get notified every time i upload videos and you guys won't miss any of my future videos i do have another video coming up not one but i have many more coming up with new releases so keep tuned for those and yeah i'll see you guys till next time bye